Hey, welcome. We're going through the Tom Clancy The Division trailer. My name is Ivan, and I'll be going through the whole trailer of Ubisoft's latest, you know, open world game. Let's back up. You know, we see the Snowdrop logo, etc. All very cool. Let's back up. Now, here we are. We're in New York. We know that much. But who are we? Now, we know that we're an agent of a unit designed to maintain order when, you know, everything goes to hell. Everything goes to hell? How do you mean? Well, the U.S. government in 2001, uh, well, they did a test study of what would happen if uh, a bioterrorist attack, you know, hit, a, hit the U.S. hard and what would result of this. This is a real world operation, Operation Dark Winter. So as a result of it, in Tom Clancy's world, in 2007, a new unit was set up that in the event when uh, bio, well, when chaos basically started raining the streets, when hospitals were overcrowded, when world trade was stopped, when borders were closed, when CDC quarantines put up, at that point they come in and they're supposed to restore order, and that is their function. They're self-sustaining, meaning they live off the land. From what we know, they start off with 72 hours of supplies and have to find the rest for themselves. So here it is. It's Christmas. It's New York. You know, it's really detailed. It's really well. It's really well done game. We can see that uh, a real attention to detail. Has, they paid real attention to detail. We see people walking around there. We see that shelves are empty. You know, people are struggling, obviously. And here we have a good look at the at New York of today. We see that this is really well done. Uh, the great attention to detail. There are dogs in the street. In the streets, there are. Uh, people, you know, uh, walking around, there are rats over the side, garbage in the streets, uh, it's been abandoned for a while, we see people in the windows, so it is, it does feel like a real next-gen game, something you really should expect uh, uh, from Ubisoft. Here's our character. Now, just right now, we look at him, and he says, you know, we see one thing, this is Tom Clancy style. It's the high-tech augmented reality with the le little light on the, uh, <clears throat> on his right shoulder, and here his teammate comes up, you know, he's uh, searched the pharmacy, nothing's there. A team member in Raven. Now here, let's stop here. This is your main menu. This is the menu where everything will happen. You can see that there's help, options, inventory, makes logical sense, skills, which we'll touch a bit uh, later, uh, world map, and, you know, there are a few more things. There are probably, uh, to the left over here, a few other things that are hidden. Uh, sadly, we never get into any better resolution. So, here we are. We roll over to world map, we see there's social, and there's even crafting a bit later here, so also it's a traditional MMO. It's a traditional MMORPG. We see that this is a standard game. This is what we would expect from an RPG. So here we are. We're put into the world map, we see there are vendors, there are events, we see some kind of dark zone, major areas like the Brooklyn War Memorial. Here, we're on Brooklyn, to start it off basically. We see that there's a police station nearby that's gone critical in the dark zone, which I'm guessing the dark zones are just that. There are areas where uh, utilities, lights, this, it works perhaps to some extent as we can see, but it's not fully back online, it's not fully sort of under control. Here we see even random people walking us. You just look at the attention to detail. This is a movie. You can't tell that this is a game. Photorealism, perf perfect photorealism. We see contagious people, we probably can't help right now. Dogs that are uh, well, surviving on their own. Also, it'd be interesting to see how these uh, dogs, well, how any animals would play out. You know, would there be an actual tiger say, that escaped from a zoo? I'm just joking here. We have Far Cry for that. So, here we see a construction site. We're drawn to it. We see that there is, well, a group mission. From what the developers told us, this would take place uh, outside of the whole map. So, this is a different area. Shots fired. We're going to our main mission, the police station. We're going to go try to save, uh, maintain order in that in uh, that crazy situation. We see people are dead. You know, we see that the NYPD has had a hard time containing this, which makes logical sense. So here we are. We take cover, and we see that Bronson and uh, Megan are both appear to be actually uh, real people. These are not AI, in case you were confused. But it does seem like professional voice actors or. Uh, people uh, like that uh, perhaps participate here. And let's pull back here for just a bit till we see just a bit more. Here we go. We will slowly pull in. Good. Now here we see a few things when we look. If you look over down to the left, we see that there's a logout. World messaging. Interesting points. A toggle Christmas mode, which has been killing me. I've been trying to get on Twitter someone to answer what what Christmas mode is. 
sadly no response and we see over to the left here that it's research if you yeah, move a bit forward it is research so we have crafting we have research we have social this is more or less a traditional MMORPG it's not something truly new it's just well done uh, with great attention to detail with of course new graphics so we see skills like pulse that we just saw see enemies through walls uh, we see crowd control uh, solutions, we see auto turrets, we see secret mines, the ones that we equip. As you can see, we can equip two uh, powers at any time. Here we're attacking the enemy, and you just see that it seems as if the enemy is sort of like a sponge, meaning they won't just die because you shoot them in the head once, they will die once their health goes to zero. We deploy a turret, which is also one of our powers. We see that the enemy is smart, they try to get us out of cover, uh, they attack us, you know, they'll use whatever means necessary to get us out. But still, they are more or less a traditional enemy. See, we get them out of cover, and we put them down. And now we are basically, yeah, the turret goes. Turret, we loved you so, sadly you couldn't survive. Uh, and now we have group heal. This is an RPG, so we rem must remember this. And now we have Chris, our good friend, giving us a damage boost. He's on the tablet, he's helping us out. He can, he can attack, but it's not one of the things he can do. Whoa! And that was one point. That was one hell of a Molotov cocktail. So now we're attacking the guy. They do flank us, which I love. Here we're sending out the Seeker Mine, which also has a just great effect. It's truly interesting. Just look, just look at uh, right now at this point. Pay attention here because it's truly a beautiful point. So here it is. It's just destroying this police car, and I think it showcases uh, the physics best. And as you can see, when you reload, there is a indicator on your screen, and it does seem to be you know wholly RPG. -ish. So here we are, our drone, our friend Chris, lights up the target, and the environments seem to be destructible to an extent. Uh, so we can uh, attack people, we, we can shoot through cover, etc. So again, it's curious how they'll ultimately implement it, but you know, they even have a nice sense of humor. To the left over there, if you rewind back, uh, here, let's rewind back a bit, yeah, a bit more. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in again something sense of a you know perverse sense of humor here well, it's it's a nice one it's uh, well within the world we see the attention to details right and I hope that every uh, individual area is unique in that sense here we're making his uh, performing the mission yell helping the cops Bronson's is uh, Bronson is uh, See, searching for supplies, you can get a water bottle, also we will need it to survive, possibly, though we don't know 100% on this one yet. We're uh, looking at a map to basically figure out what's going on, where should we go, etc. Uh, and here we are, the police station, goes from critical to secured, we get our SP, and we go forward, or go into the armory to get ourselves again. And you can see just the amount of detail here is uh, quite significant, you know, there are various awards there, you know, uh, fire extinguishers, some kind of uh, security system. There's a dog walking through the narcotics di narcotics division. Who knows? And we see the uh, environment can be destroyed. There is some kind of damage done by whatever. Who knows? It's impossible to say exactly. Here, we're getting into the armory. We're in. And this is the coolest part of the game. See the strong box over there? Yeah, we're gonna open it. Guess what's inside? One cool gun, the MK17SR with incredible damage, mod slots, etc. Which you can modify every weapon from what we can see. We have Bronson, I'm guessing lock the armory back. Here we take we take the gun, we try to get we try to get uh, ourselves out of this. We're going to try to extract. So here we are. Megan's gonna launch the uh, flare in a bit, you know, so that we can get out. But launching a flare means that for 90 seconds you will be seen by the whole map. And here we have 90 seconds to survive. Why? Oh, someone will try to take your gun. Here we are, 50 caliber versus Raven. Let's get it on. Ooh, secret mine heading their way. They better be careful. And here we see just the massive scope of the world. You know, it literally takes place on a realistic place to scale. Uh, I've actually checked this out a bit. It is somewhat realistic to scale, and I do hope that this is the ultimate goal, you know? Real, full New York. So, that was The Division, the online open world RPG from Tom Clancy's universe. Thanks for watching.